Hello Tally Ho's from Future Tally Ho here. Um, just wanted to let you know that most of this video is, well when I'm in the car anyway, is out of focus because my camera is a piece of <laughs> um, so please ignore it. I still wanted to share this footage because I feel like I couldn't refilm this kind of thing. Um, I do actually talk about some pretty interesting, important topics in this video. And I do also give you some advice. So maybe just stick me on in the background, you know? Yeah, here you go. It does get better. Okay, I promise you. So please keep on watching. And yeah, love you lots. Thank you and enjoy. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. So, hello Tally Hose, welcome back. Um, if you're new here, I'm Tally. My name's Tally Sharp. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok and all that goodness. If you're returning from my last vlog, then basically, I went to A&E. One of my incisions um, from the gastric sleeve surgery that I had, you get five incisions, two of them are, one of them's half open and one of them's fully open as we speak. They're still open because apparently any open wound after two days cannot be stitched apparently. So I'm on antibiotics, honestly, it's disgusting. It's bandaged up, it's safe. Um, you're not allowed to put anything on it apart from just be like taking your antibiotics. But the most important thing is, is that I'm okay. This really humbled me and reminded me that I've just had a major surgery and I need to chill out. Tally Sharp doesn't know how to chill out. Tally always thinks that she should be doing something and pushing herself to be doing more and achieving more. But actually, sometimes you just need to take a step back, chill the F out and recover properly. Like I really, because I wasn't ever really in pain, I felt like, okay, well, it's nearly been two weeks. Like, let's start to pick up the pace. Let's start to work again. You know, let's, you know, live life, you know, but apparently not. So, so after I got home from a &E, I basically went to bed, but I had a couple spoonfuls of that chicken, pureed chicken that I made. Honestly, it was so disgusting. It was, it was so disgusting. It's so upsetting that every time like I film making something, it fails. But then the day after surgery, no, sorry, the day after going to A&E, I made a mush, mushy peas and mushy carrot mash. No, a pea and carrot mash. And honestly, it was unreal. And then yesterday, so it's been two days since you've last caught up with me. Yesterday, I made like a salmon puree. It was still a little bit watery, but if you add that as like a sauce on top of your mash, it's really nice. But anyway, I threw away the chicken. I had to tally hose. It was actually disgusting. <laughs> and also I've bought some baby food, the organic baby like sachets. I got the spag bar one and oh my God, it's actually delicious. Yesterday I also made a feta cheese and mango puree. You know, I'm just being adventurous. You know, this is a whole new way of life for me and I'm really trying and I'm learning as I go along. Oh, alarm, take vitamins and gallbladder tablets. So I didn't know that I have to take all of these things. I'm kind of losing track of what I'm taking. I've got so many alarms. Also, new face, new face. What? What? New case. How cute is it? You've probably seen it before, but I haven't used it since, like, I've had it for probably two years or a year and I've never used it. But look how many alarms I've got. Can you even see? Look at this. So many. And obviously you've got antibiotics as well as all of that now as well. So yeah, I'm on antibiotics for a, for a week. And... Oh my god, there's so many cars going past me right now. Hi! Subscribe. I'm trying out a new water today as well. 
guys these protein waters are so yummy the viv viv and this is a watermelon protein water so yummy i don't think i'm ever gonna drink squash again coming from me who literally left canada just to go get some squash so basically if you don't know the reason why you've got to have so much protein after weight loss surgery is because you're not getting pretty much any calories for breakfast today i had a protein yogurt from aldi i can't remember if i've shown you that now it is so delicious it has got like quite a bit of fat and sugars in there which isn't the best but at least it's got high protein so i had literally three teaspoons of that for breakfast so as you can imagine like you're not getting what you should be getting like to survive pretty much so with that you can get a hair loss and you guys know how much i love my hair i've taken care of my hair so so well since i was pretty much like i had a hair obsession before i ever had a makeup obsession so i love my hair i love trying out new products i've constantly got hair products in my hair but i haven't right now because i'm on my way to a hair clinic appointment so i've booked in with 360 hair clinic in hove i would definitely recommend if you're in england and you don't have this type of hair clinic in your area to travel down here and come to 360 hair clinic but i'm sure that you do i'm sure that you've got hair clinics around but basically I don't really know what to expect from today she's asked me for my blood test results she's also asked me for like what I'm going to be eating like my food going forward stuff like that and how we're going to manage my hair loss prevention I know that she has like this uv lamp color lamp that's meant to like stimulate hair growth as well so we're basically just hoping that we're able to keep the hair as strong and healthy as it is now and just keep it at a steady you know i haven't got any hair product in my hair right now because she said not to uh, it's still a little bit wet actually but this is fully i just saw a massive split end oh my god i need a haircut i only had a haircut a few months like when before the pretty little thing event so that was february february march april may june oh god it's been four months i pretty much get my hair cut every two to three months if i can if i remember that's how i got it so long and so healthy so yeah i need to book in but yeah i'm really really excited for this i feel like i don't know what to expect but the fact that i'm being proactive about it because honestly if i lost any of my hair i'd be really upset <laughs> and i really don't want to do that the hair clinic that i'm going to do have their own website so i'll leave that down like linked down below because if they sell products and stuff even if you're not nearby you can purchase their products to prevent hair loss so yeah let's see whatever she gives me i'm gonna be taking it let's just be honest my mum said actually before I left, like, don't put too much on your hair, like, you don't want to ruin it. And I'm like, mum, I'm doing this to not ruin my hair, because I'd actually be so upset. I'd be fucking devastated. Absolutely heartbroken. Also, I just want to mention, as we're here, um, when I was in the a &E, there was an Australian police officer there. And honestly, you can imagine me. I was just sat in the corner, just like staring at her, like, <laughs> just, just like, wow. <laughs> so you guys know exactly what you're doing, mate, when you comment, like so many of you comment Australia at the end of your comments, just to get me hype. Cause you guys know what you're doing to me. <laughs> you nutty, nutty, you teasing me, you nutty, nutty. <laughs> The reality of my life right now is that I've got this big bag. I showed you this before. It's from PLT. It honestly fits absolutely everything in it. In there, I've got my protein smoothie. I've got my protein water. I've got my antibiotics. I've got all my pills. I've got my camera charger because this camera literally dies every second. I swear to God. 
and I also brought some slides with me. I'm currently wearing my um, Jordans because I want to go and get my nails done because I want to feel pretty. I want to get my feet done and I want to get my fingers done because honestly, tally hoes, this is something that no one who has had weight loss surgery talks about and I'm completely stunned by it. It's so, so, so difficult to actually dress yourself after weight loss surgery. Maybe like your surgeon didn't tell you that you can't wear pretty much anything on your stomach for three weeks now for me it's going to be longer because of my open wound but not being able to wear stuff on my stomach like i've touched on in another video is really hard for me because i always wear it above my stomach it's more comfortable and it's more flattering for me that way and now like you can't wear a dress because well now i'm not wearing my um like what are those socks called those tight socks but also, if you're wearing a dress, like you've got to shave your legs. I've got no energy to shave my legs. And then with trousers, they all have to be under your belly. But then you can't wear like a crop top because then your belly's just hanging out. Oh, it's a limb. So it's just a bit like awkward. But anyway, is that a person? What is that? Is that a tree? That must be a tree. God, I thought I had laser eye surgery. I'm not really sure what that is. That must be a tree. Oh my God, it's my camera like making sure I'm in focus. Lol. <laughs> you guys can't even see it. You probably just thought that I lost. <laughs> oh God. So yeah, I really, really struggled with what to wear today um, because obviously I want to look like presentable and it's really, really, really difficult. So what I've gone for is this black bodysuit, which has loads of material to swoop all the way around because I've got no energy to be sorting out bodysuits that are like, don't fit properly. So like an oversized bodysuit, a nice sports bra with no wires for comfortability, then this really oversized knit cardigan i think this one's from in the style and then i've just got some really loose ribbed cotton trousers on under my pouch obviously then with the cardigan i can kind of cover up my belly because i feel like it brings a lot of attention when i'm wearing my trousers underneath my pouch anyway and then i've got my air force ones on but yeah, so that's a little bit of an, uh, a post outfit inspiration for you guys. Um, and then I've done my makeup. Yay. And yeah, obviously my hair looks like this, but it kind of has to because it had to be clean and no products in it. So my stomach's making weird noises. I really, really hope that I have energy to go to this nail appointment because I know that I'm gonna feel so much prettier. So when I was getting dressed and I was like really struggling with what to wear, I first put on joggers and a big like jumper, but then I just looked so frumpy and just awful. And like, because the trousers under your pouch and like they're getting bigger for me now already like i just looked so unput together and just not classy or sexy in the slightest and then i was thinking like for e like for ease because you guys know i love slides just because they're so easy to get on and off but then my toenails are starting to look on real so yeah, that's how I kind of came to the conclusion that I need to pamper myself. I need to pick myself up, guys. I need to be feeling like me again. I'm so itchy. I think I'm having a reaction to these, you know, these bandages that I've got on my belly. But anyway, um, I don't want to be late to this appointment, so I'm just going to drive there now. I'm literally round the corner, but I don't want to be late. So I'll basically ask if I can film um, and however much I can film, I'll show you. To be honest with you, I could have done this appointment pre-surgery and then they would have known completely how healthy my hair is and things like that. 
but she does have the blood test results actually but yeah being careful is a great thing and that's exactly what i'm doing mate so let's go perfect right so first of all i'm gonna look in an area where your hair's likely to be at its fullest so sort of in the back yeah we'll look at the density we'll look at the number of hairs per follicle etc um and that's gonna help to get an idea of the maximum improvement across the parting and the temple. So we'll see if there's actually, even uh, without having any excessive hair loss, if there's any scope for improving thickness and density okay. already. Okay, so we come here. If you just look that way for me so I can get towards the back. I get to watch. Yeah, this is cool. I'll take these as pictures and then I'll go through them with you. Uh. Everybody says that. It is, uh, wow, that's incredible. Now that's not 4K, that's like 9 million K. <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> All right, and let's just catch another one through the side. Gosh, hair is really weird. A lot of people say that, but because I look at it every day... It's nothing to no, you. What about when you first saw it? Yeah, it was a bit weird. Yeah. I looked at everything under the microscope, like tattoos. Wow. Ooh, look at that one. So this is right at the front of the hairline. So obviously this is where like you're going to get product build up from like makeup, skincare products, etc. Do you have an it's... exfoliating treatment that I can have then? Because that looks disgusting. So the products are going to correct this. Okay, good. Because... And obviously it is where, like, like I say, your skincare and the makeup goes right into that area as well. Okay, if you can turn this way so I can do the same on this side. And I'll save these all as pictures as well, so That's over time amazing. we'll be able to see the scalp improving. So you can see here, you've got sort of a lot of two or three hairs per hair follicle. So that's what's normal for you and your hair type. Everyone's different. Obviously, I'm naturally fine hair, so my hair strands will be naturally thinner, and I may have like more per follicle. They might be a bit close together, but the, the, there's like a difference in texture, basically. So for you, we want as many of the hair follicles to be producing thick, strong hairs, and we want at least two or three per hair follicle all over, apart from right at the front of the hairline where the density does shift. Um, are they far apart or is that no, just me? Oh, okay. No, it's normal, it's because we're looking this close, yeah. basically. This is obviously awesome. some build up. Yeah, it, it's probably just the products you're using, to be honest. Okay. So obviously we'll get you in a really good routine. Um, I'll walk you through all the steps of mm -hmm. making sure we get the scalp. They cleanse very effectively, but mildly. So you're not stripping the scalp, but we do will need to make sure the build up is broken down and removed because then a growth stimulator can get to work. Okay. And if you weren't looking down this route because of the surgery, then you wouldn't be picking these things up. But it could be in 10 years' time, you would have been seeing me for hair loss treatment because yeah. you've been going thin yeah. for 10 years. So it's yeah. quite good to like nip these things in the bud quite early on. So does that all make sense? Yeah, it's exciting. I'm Fact. like, I've never like known any of this, obviously. Yeah, it's I think until, until you look this deep yeah. into it, you don't realise these small changes that can then build and build yeah. and build over time. So, and again, if you do some research, you'll probably read things like, oh, don't worry, if you get loads of shedding after the surgery, it will just stop and it will go back to yeah. normal. Um, and this can be the same with like a post-pregnancy hair loss yeah. or um, like a tra traumatic event people assume once the hair loss stops, the hair will just ping back to normal, yeah. but you're already starting at a reserve yeah. in a way. So yes, the excessive shedding will stop, but will it go back to the original density? Sometimes not. Yeah. So it's one of those things, it's better to just nip it in the bud, yeah. right yeah. as it's starting, and then you're completely reducing your risk of it being really sparse and at a weaker point. Yeah. Well, didn't you guys want to know all that information? Um, Sophie does free consultations, so I'll leave her linked down below. But now I think we're going to go through some products, right? Mm. Yes. Hello there. How are we? Wow, that was so informative and just absolutely amazing. I learned so much and I'm so, so, so pleased that I'm doing this early. Postman. 
right now I am outside my friend's house um, because she's just like got her lashes qualification. You've actually seen her. It's Monique from Talisman. <laughs> and um, she's gonna give me a little patch test and then hopefully my glow up is gonna begin because on Wednesday um, I'm gonna see her again. We're gonna go to the beach, but beforehand she'll do my eyelashes, hopefully. Honestly, I'm ready for a pick-me-up. I am feeling so tired. I'm not sure why I haven't been drinking coffee, like a genuinely, how cute was he? I really like this area. I like, you can hear the birds singing and like, so peaceful. Anyway, what was I saying? Story of my life. Oh yeah, coffee. I just need a bit more of a uplift, you know? Um, but I'm gonna actually have some of my strawberry protein milkshake because I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry and I didn't bring anything else with me. It always has this like foamy bit on the top. That was a stupid idea. Honestly, these are incredible. And Sophie from 360 Hair Clinic gave me a shampoo and a conditioner because if you heard in the video, there's a lot of buildup on my scalp. Um, so I'm gonna now be using sodium laureth sulfate and silicone free. So that's good. This is also strengthening shampoo with biotin caffeine and plant stem cell technology <laughs> clinical strength for stronger thicker hair amazing this cleanses your scalp take antibiotics one second my life's a little bit chaotic at the moment sorry my camera died and I had to put it on charge in the car for a little bit but then i also got a hair follicle treatment there's actually videos of sophie using this on the 360 instagram page so i'll also leave that down below like i said before mine yeah now i'm gonna go get my nails done i'm gonna go for french on my toes and i'm gonna go with the ones that i had in december which were like this Oh, I'm so excited, mate. But it's really, like, humid and hot. Okay, patch test is now done, by the way. So in between when I was charging my camera, I ran in and got my patch test. So hopefully I'm going to have some lashes on Wednesday, unless I have a reaction. But anyway. She got her nails did. God, what an awful, like lighting but anyway i got my nails done i got french on my toes i'm feeling like a new woman um after my appointment or like during my appointment i was in so much discomfort but i decided to pop into my gp i haven't got any lipstick on by the way sorry it's like i'm so over today like i'm ready to get into bed like i'm f i know that i'm fully overdoing this and I really should be resting. But I just feel like for the two weeks on my LRD, I had no energy. I was just home all day. And then after surgery for two weeks, I've done the same. And now I just feel like I want to go out and do stuff. Do you know what I mean? And I haven't been able to. So I know I'm doing too much. I'm really excited to go into bed in a second. And what makes it better is that my brother's home with the kids. So I get to annoy them for a little bit. But the best decision of my actual life was popping into the GP after my nail appointment because they sorted out all my vitamins that I've got to be on, all of the lifelong like tablets and prescriptions that I've got to be on. Um, they looked at my wound. My wound is looking so much better. So I went to eat A&E on Friday and now it's Monday. They're saying it looks much better. It looks so much less infected and to leave this bandaging on for now a few days which is good but like I also want to keep it clean but then they told me not to so and I'm not allowed to shower again and also I got my first b12 injection um I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this to be honest because if you take your multivitamins or something you might not have to have the injections 
Um, but anyway, I got I got it today. I'll talk to them about that in more depth like another time. And I've basically sorted out all of my vitamins and stuff and I just got so much sorted. So I'm really, really happy. Like it was very spontaneous. Um, but I think always going in is just the best option and the fact that they could see me with like no notice was just amazing so super grateful for that and yeah I've just taken another antibiotic I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sleep um, I really need to at some point which I'm not allowed to shower now but I need to shave my legs because I don't think you understand how embarrassing it was yeah, when he was massaging my hairy legs. And I'm not talking, you know, when some girls are like, oh, my legs are so hairy, and then there's like nothing there. That's not me, okay? I've got thick, dark hair. They are hairy, okay? So embarrassing. But I'm feeling better. I've had my nails done. You know, I did my makeup today. I've got my feet done, I've got my B12 jab, I just need to go home, eat a little bit, and get into bed, girl, get into bed, because I probably won't vlog tomorrow, but I will be back very shortly, and I'll see you soon. I love you, by the way, just in case you didn't know, and you're beautiful, and you're a ray of sunshine, and you are enough, and I want to say I love you again. Okay, bye. Hi Telly Hoes, it's two days since we've last caught up. I've had such a stressful morning. Um, I've started my first proper period in literally ages. Like, I'm not gonna get too TMI, but like, this is my first proper period. This is one of the reasons why I decided to have the surgery because my hormones have been all over the place for so many years. I'm just really, really happy. <laughs> I'm just about to go for my hair appointment, uh, my laser hair thing, you know, to help stimulate growth with 360 Hair Clinic. And I've washed my hair the first time today using their products. And I was actually really pleasantly surprised. It smells so good as well. But anyway, let's go in and see what's what. I'm kind of excited, don't know what to expect. So let's see. <laughs> back at home and I've just made myself some lunch honestly tally hoes last night I made myself mash I, so I had some of my mashed potato with baked beans mashed up obviously and some cheese put it in the microwave it was so good like so so good so I've just made that for myself again this is what it looks like smells incredible obviously i'm not gonna be able to eat the whole thing because it's quite big although this is a very tiny plate a bowl even whilst that's cooling down i'm gonna show you the books that i've purchased over the last while please ignore this you know it looks messier than it is 
So the first one I got is this bariatric book. This actually talks about um, your like post-op as well. It tells you about like your choice, your surgery, adjustments, the different procedures. It talks about friends and family. It also talks about misconceptions. Apparently surgery is the easy way out, but the surgery is just a tool. It's not a magic bullet. The road to success will require hard work and dedication, which is 100% true. Also, side note, just had my bed sheets changed by my mum and Kate. So Kate, if you're watching this, love you. <laughs> it also has mental preparation, the day of surgery, going home, what to expect, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then it's got obviously why I got it lots of different recipes recipes I've never even thought about I'm also going to buy myself an air fryer mom says that there's an air fryer in the garage for me um, I'm just so excited to like start to learn to cook because as you guys know I'm not a good cook okay I love going out to eat and overindulging on yummy ass food but now I'm gonna try and make it myself with a bit of an air fryer you know if you know any really good yeah okay tally hoes if you do anything today it has to be <laughs> commenting down below the best air fryers if you have one um yeah just like really cool recipes you know it doesn't have that many pictures which is this book's downfall i don't absolutely love this but it's the best bariatric book that i've found so far if you watch my last video then you'll know that i actually sent another bariatric book back because it was just like not really for my lifestyle but also it talks about how you can freeze your protein water i've tried that with the upbeat protein waters that i didn't like to see if i could still manage to drink it it didn't work for me um so i defrosted them and got rid of them um and then gave those waters to my mum so it don't they oh my god so that they don't go to waste um also whilst i'm on that topic you know, I said to you, I've been trying this water. Um, I still love it, but not any flavours that have this colour. So like that yellowy colour to it. I love and I'm obsessed with their watermelon flavour. I can't have any right now, even though my mouth is very parched because you can't eat and drink at the same time. But yeah, any ones that, you know, have... Well, I mean, that's quite clear. But you know what I mean, like raspberry, they have a raspberry flavour, they have peach, peach is really good. But just their citrus and apple and the first one that I showed you, which I can't remember what it was now. I think it was, yes, it was orange and mango. Mm -mm, don't vibe with it at all. Right, before my food gets cold, I also got this. This is all about grain bowls. like ha like sorry like how i love salad if you didn't know i'm a bit of a salad lover um and this is a bit of me like fresh veg hummus very mediterranean kind of stuff and just different ways that you can incorporate grains beans that kind of stuff like how good does that look that looks so yummy. I managed to get this in an affordable bookshop when I took my niece out for the day not long ago. It's 12 99 but I managed to get it for £6. <laughs> then I got this from TK Maxx. I'm very, 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 very happy. This is my favourite one. It's called the Hungry Healthy Student Cookbook. You know I'm not actually a student, but everything a student represents is what I am. I'm a lazy cook. I don't enjoy cooking. I like to do it quickly and I need it simplified. And that's exactly what this book does for me. It's got so many recipes and every single page is engaging, colorful, easy to follow. Like there's amazing recipes in here. There's even like whole wheat pancakes with yogurt and like salmon chicken fajitas like everything chicken stew risotto every every single thing in here and it's healthy which is great obviously 
because I don't know if you guys struggle with this, but part of the reason, you know, when you're growing up, you really struggle with knowing what's healthy and what isn't healthy because everyone's trying to get their 2P in there, telling you what you should and shouldn't be doing. And you just get confused. I'm confused. So I've got a lot of work to do with my dietitian, but getting a healthy book or healthy books like these is really gonna help me understand what's healthy in moderation, etc. And then the last one I got from TK Maxx is this one. This one I probably won't gravitate towards, but like that kind of thing really excites me. Basically a big jar of salad and i love beetroot as well they've got some soups in here no i'm not really a soupy girl i don't really choose to go for a soup unless i'm sick like look at this burger i'm hungry and my food is just looking at me right now but yeah there's just so many ideas and i find that this one's laid out really easily as well so that's what i got I also got a little sum and sum in from Amazon, which from my last video, you probably know that I need. It's like serving spoons, measuring spoons, so that I can actually keep on top of how much I'm putting in my food and stuff. Uh, because otherwise I will just be too, you know, giving and I'll ruin it. Like I ruined that chicken dish I cooked with you guys the other day. It tasted so bad. Oh, whilst I'm showing you stuff, I got this bag from TK Maxx. It's absolutely huge. Oh, it's huge and I love it. It's kind of like a fake, you know, designer. It's Steve Madden. I don't know anything about this designer, but I just think it's going to be so handy for trips away for my mum's birthday but um it was 45 pounds and they have lots of different colors of it but yeah isn't that cute so um oh still got those on these actually hurt my ears like behind my ears when i wear them they're from sheen they were like four pound but i feel like they look like the prada ones so yeah now i'm gonna eat my mash um i'm also going to watch some love island it's the 9th of june it started on monday it's now thursday so i've got lots to catch up on i think that's how i'm gonna do it this time unless i get completely hooked because i kind of just like to watch things in a bingey way so I also can't forget to put my hair serum in my hair. Um, I'll do that with you guys. And then that'll be the end of the vlog. I really hope that you enjoy in these videos. Like I'm trying to get content out as often as I can whilst I'm recovering. But yeah, I'm so happy to like be sharing this with not only you, but with myself to look back on. So Thank you again for all of your love and your support. I love you guys so, so much. Like you blow me away and you're incredible. And I'm so, so lucky. So thank you very much. Oh, one other thing I've started to do is because I'm on a multivitamin, I still take other vitamins. I take turmeric, oil and D3. So I take all of those additionally to my multivit because I did that before surgery anyway. And the fish oil I think is good for like heart, your heart and stuff. Um, and then the D3, we live in England, so we definitely need D3. <laughs> and the other one, turmeric, turmeric's really, really he healthy for you. I think it's like an anti-inflammatory, I'm not quite sure to be honest. Um, sometimes I just copy my brother. And I think that's what I've done here, so. <laughs> okay, I'll catch up with you in a few hours.